up? What's 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 up? They like to call me TR Substance Music. Oh, that's right. To make right. sense and sense. She's you know what I'm talking about. Sense. Sense. Run <laughs> me my money. You run me my money. Cut the chat. You heard her. <laughs> that's what's up. So let's get right into it. So how did uh, Terry when they get into the music? You know, I've been able to sing all my life, but mm -hmm. I've never taken that serious. Mm -hmm. So about what, three years ago, mm -hmm. I, you know, I just decided, okay, let me. I'm sitting in the driveway, you know, I'm doing my thing. And I said, you know what, let me see how this music thing work out. Because okay. it, it, it seems so easy. You know, right. everybody was doing it. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, let me put a little <laughs> twist on it. You okay. know, right. I, I think I'm like a Jill Scott, NDRE yeah. type of the Neil Cardi Song. B type. Okay. You know, okay. okay. That new that's flavor. Yeah. Putting yeah. the twist <laughs> on it. Yeah. 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 No way I'm yeah. talking about. Okay. So, you know, a lot of my friends that know me, know me, you know, they used to tell me, Terry, stop singing. You sing too much. Like, stop singing. So now that I'm serious, they, mm -hmm. they tell me, like, Terry, you come a long way from your driveway. Oh, so I've come a long way from the driveway. That'd be the people that remember that you your friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but how long has this been in the making? Ooh, I've been doing music since May 7, 2015. Oh, wow. She got, she got the date and everything. Nice. So so what inspires you to want to do music? Hmm. You know, my mother. Is, is definitely one of my big inspirations and she inspired me so much because I've never seen mm -hmm. her look at me the way she does when, yeah, I, when right. I sing. It's just mm -hmm. like, you know, she's she's in a happy place and mm -hmm. she lost, you know, her, um, her fiance. Mm -hmm. So I kind of like took took that, you know, that, that pain away okay, by doing right. the music. So, you know, I'm keeping her busy and, mm -hmm. you know, keeping her active. She's my CEO, so I mean, okay. hey, I need you to be there. Hey. You know, she's not here today, but I wish right. she was. But as, she's definitely, you know, Main, my main focus, like my mother. Sure. You know, and it's crazy, we didn't growing okay. up. Okay. Wow. So, this is something that's new. We okay. just developed this once I figured out, you know, this is what I wanted to do. And mm -hmm. she, she believes in me. Like, okay. she's my biggest fan. That's well, you fun. know, music changes the world. So, if you were able to speak and live your music through your soul and it gets into her, that's something that will help grow the bond. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're right. So, what? Who are some of the people that influence you to, you know, do what you do? Um, Prince for sure. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a short story about uh, Prince and Purple Rain. Okay. I got ran over when I was two years old. Oh wow. Um, yeah. I, you know, I'm a trooper. That's why okay, I said, "Come bless to be here." Right. Yeah. Like, so, um, for 30 days, I thought I couldn't walk, and for those 30 days, the only thing that would keep me content and put me to sleep was Purple Rain. Oh wow. I was infatuated with the whole. Prince, everything about Prince, because he did a concert after putting out music that everybody was familiar with, but then he did a concert where he did all the music. So right. everybody in the crowd was like, what is Where did this come from? But they couldn't deny that it, everything that he put out was great. Right. So, you know, and then not only was he a great artist, his he was business smart, you know, uh -huh. so, you know, he played all the instruments, he owned all his masters. So mm -hmm. I'm just trying to be a little bit like Prince. Okay. Yeah. Prince definitely. Uh, Jill Scott, mm -hmm. slightly coming from for your spot, Jilly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jilly from Philly. I love Jill. Oh, yeah. um, Anita Baker, of course. You okay. know, timeless music. You, you oh, never yeah. get enough of Anita Baker. Right. right. Been so long. That's one of my favorite covers. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like an old so You know, I mean, you, you know, I switch it up. You know, I like quality control. You know, mm -hmm. I like to be ratchet and do hood rat things <laughs> with my friends. So, yeah. like, <laughs> you know, so yeah, I'm, I'm a, I'm a mixture of the ratchet and the soul. Yeah. The ratchet and yeah. the soul. I like that. <laughs> ratchet, so ratchet. Ratchet soul. Yeah. <laughs> I might get some t-shirts going. <laughs> ratchet soul. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> ratchet soul. That, that's a new genre. I see. Exactly. Right. Create your own yeah, way. Yeah, you created that way. <laughs> that's what I said. The new way. The right? new way. Right? So I heard you recently was down South by Southwest. I was. I so was. how was it? Because I didn't get a chance to go. Oh, man. Let me tell you. I um was on the Heartless stage. Mm -hmm. Um. What is it, YFN Lucci? Lucci uh -huh. stage? Okay. Yeah. So I, what I did, 
because I'm because I'm so mm-hmm. I took one of his songs from his EP, not his latest latest okay. album, but the EP prior to the one that's out now, mm-hmm. and it's um, still the same. Mm-hmm. So I took that beat and I got my electric guitar, my electric guitar guy, okay. and my producer, mm-hmm. and we we went in the studio and we replicated that beat. So I put my words, with, mm-hmm. which is living a life, it's mm-hmm. on, you know, SoundCloud and all that, you can go download it. Okay. So I put those words mm-hmm. on that particular beat. Oh, okay. So it, it was kind of dope, you know, so it was a little swag. Well, he heard it. Mm-hmm. He, he may have heard it. Okay. He wasn't there when I recorded, but they had me go first. <laughs> <laughs> but I did set the move, you know, okay. sometimes... I force people to listen to me, right. you know, so, you know, I told, yeah, like, yeah, people come down, you know, they're like, wait a minute, what is that? Who's that singing? I'm kind of like the golden heart, so, right? <laughs> you know, the giant stole the heart, because, yeah. you know, she opened her mouth, and he just couldn't resist that sound, so. That's what's up. Well, what was the crowd reaction like? Oh, man, I couldn't even get off the stage. Oh, they was man. grabbing me like, who a Terry Nate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good. You know, a lot of people got a feel for who I am, you know, mm-hmm. my little Detroit swag, and, okay. you know, it was, it was real good. I got a chance to pass out some flyers, you know, even though my people that came from Houston didn't get a chance to see me, but oh, no. it, it was good for the folks that was there, because okay. I was able to network, and, okay. you know, people were really feeling me. So. Was this, like, at a venue or, like, an outside stage? It was a venue. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Pretty nice big. Stage. It, was, it was pretty, it was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty cool. packed. Yeah, everything was lit. Uh, Sixth Street, man. Sixth Street was lit. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I heard. Right. Sixth Street was lit. You missed it. I know. So, would you go back next year? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm going every year. Okay. They stuck with me now. Okay. Mm-hmm. As I say, you fuck with me. You stuck, stuck with me. me. <laughs> yes, I heard that several times. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. So, what is this million words? Tell us about that. Yay! This is my first single that I'm pushing. Um, mm-hmm. Million words. Okay. And. This song, you know, I was in a relationship, so it was inspired by a gentleman that I was dating. So okay. he helped me be this happy in this happy space. Not saying that I'm not happy now, mm-hmm. but um, it, it, it's based on this relationship that we had. You know, we're not together anymore, so oh, I'm okay. single and on the market. Oh, okay. <laughs> but let let me not. Let okay. him know. Yeah. <laughs> so um, he was he was a big help. So mm-hmm. I think this was this was perfect for you know like the ballroom kind of like. Midwest type of vibe, so. Okay. But you know, I got my catalog is pretty big. You know, it's okay. pretty dope. So I'm, I'm gonna switch it up each way. Mm-hmm. So I say I'm substance music. Okay. I make sense and sense, okay. and it's no cussing okay. in the okay. first page. Okay. So that's the name of my album. is the first page. First page, no cussing, okay. but the music still feels good. Okay. Right. So got you. So who produced this track? Uh, Dre Butters and Cold Cash Black from Detroit. Okay. Well, I'm not the Detroit native. B and B. So yeah, Dre <laughs> Butters is B and B. So yeah. So you you write your own lyrics? I do. Thing? I write everything. Okay. All right, everything. Everybody would say she writes everything. But I need some help. Okay. Okay. I'm willing to, I'm open for help. Okay. All right. No, we definitely um, going to check this out. So you, you want to introduce this song while we get into it? <laughs> you guys go check it out. It's Tia Renee, my first single, Million Words. Million Words. And so we're going to check this out. So make sure y'all turn up. Make sure y'all follow her, man. Check out the video. Boy, who is so intelligent? That was cute. So uh where did you guys uh shoot the video? We did it at um we were at King's bookstore downtown mm-hmm. and then we were at the Rooster Tail. Oh, this was in Detroit? Yeah. Oh okay. shout out to Shauna at sure the Rooster Tail. I got a little couple of connects down there so okay. that's that's dope that and then that's my son's father so you know we we co-parent we get okay. along we've known each other for 30 years so we got that's a big awesome. relationship yeah, that's my buddy right that's yeah. my best friend <laughs> i'd be calling him when i need some hey can you do this for me right. right you know a lot of people can't say that <laughs> right yeah. detroit stands up yeah you know that's what's <laughs> up that's what's up. So that's the single that you're pushing right now. Yes, it is. And what is it called again? Million Words. Okay, and where can people find that? It's on all digital platforms. Just I'm Googleable, so just <laughs> type it. in my name, you know, <laughs> T E R R I R E N E, and uh, I'll pop right up. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're gonna be on that yeah. level. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Bring the record out real quick. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> and they said, do you follow back? I do. Okay. Yes. And if anybody want to do features or collaborations or tracks, like where would they contact you? Just DM or email or what? Um, DM me and then if you uh, Google me, uh, my number should pop up. But I have a business number and it's 313-915-1711. So you can reach me there. You heard her. 
Call me. Call me. Call me. <laughs> however it works. So thank you so much, Miss Terry Renee, hey, for yes. coming through. You Ms. know, it's Jill been a pleasure. I appreciate it. Jilly Philly. <laughs> yeah. she, she's gonna be replacing Jill. Yeah, pretty, pretty soon. soon. Oh, maybe they can get on a collab. I so we can help some... us, Jill. Yeah. Right? You heard it, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. So mm -hmm. we're going to do that, y'all. Time to shine radio, y'all. We live on World Star Hit Radio. Holla at us, y'all. Peace. Peace in the Middle East, rain in Spain. Holla at us. <laughs>